What's up gamers? Welcome to the Realm of the Fae. We are back in the hellhole known as Metopia, and today art is imitating life. And by that I mean I'm all alone. My guests of honor, uh, also known as my roommates, are uh, they are out of the house for the weekend. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing here other than kind of riffing off myself, you know, going back to my roots as a commentator. Oh, uh, you know, I, I kind of lived a pleasant life before I remember this thing existed. Time to put you out of your St. Louis, Missouri. Good fucking riddance, holy shit. Damn, hold on, new friend at the door already? Surely this can't be worse than my previous party members. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest, I can't tell if this is better or not. Well, I mean, it is anime, so... One can only assume how good this is. That's a lie, Konosuba is a very funny anime, and I only picked Megamine to act as my mage because of uh, her powers over nuclear detonation. Will this come back to bite me in the ass? I don't know. I mean, let's be real, it could honestly be worse. My party could consist of whew, Genshin characters. There's a reality in which that happens, and I kind of don't want to live in that one. Jesus Christ, hi Garfield. <laughs> now you're the wizard, please? Thank you, okay. You have to understand, after the nightmare that was my last party that refused to like anything that was good for them, you have to understand how cautious I am about my new party members. I need to choose them carefully. It's not even because I'm worried about looking like a degenerate on camera. No, listen, <laughs> I'm a fucking YouTuber. People are already going to assume I'm a degenerate. I think the best thing about Land of the Fae is that with your stat buffs of over everything, you kind of just light shit on fire, and you don't take damage from anything. Your other party members are left to pick up the slack, but like, other than that, your main hero just fucking wipes. Unlike me in the bathroom. Yo, it's our good buddy, Mr. Exodia. Listen, I taught the genie the power of friendship, but you still must understand, releasing him wasn't my fault. Hell yeah, the gang is going to the gym. Something I probably would have done today, uh, if I didn't wake up at 5 p.m. Please, please just get the linen robe, thank you. Again, one can never be too careful after the incidents that happened with my last group of clowns. And now I have a toy dagger. It squeaks when I stab people with it. So recently I started playing the original Drawn to Life game again, and playing through it has made me realize how much I want to play through Drawn to Life next chapter again. It's kind of an unfortunate side effect of, you know, being me and feeling the need to make every single thing that I draw horribly cursed. I made the ice cubes ice cubes, I made goose gooey, I made like my snow shooter a hyper realistic pistol, and my acorn shooter a hyper realistic six shooter. But it does mean every few seconds I have to just kind of sit back, be like, ah fuck, how long am I going to take to draw this one? And what am I going to draw for this one, actually? Because I don't really figure it out sometimes, and I'm just left staring at a blank canvas for five minutes. It's funny, because the gimmicks that I draw in that level literally disappear in the next one. So there is borderline no fucking point. At least in the next chapter, I know if I'm drawing something, it's going to stick beyond the level I draw it in. I might finish the original Drawn to Life. After all, I never finished it in the first place. Turkey curry. You know, I really don't want to eat this. Hello. Can, um, I, I, I don't feel like helping this guy, I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah, I know the Dark Lord's heading for the retreat, but like, we need to address the elephant in the room. I don't think this area is safe if you're here. Oh god. Oh god. Hello, you. <laughs> Lady Armstrong forever. Sweet Christ. Lady Armstrong. <laughs> I wonder who that could possibly be. <laughs> How about you, buddy? Let's hear it for Lady Komi. Oh, what a fucking surprise. One of the four horsemen. And yes, I will take this time to shamelessly plug my my art of the four horsemen of the No Bitches anime, because I'm actually very proud of it. Oh. Oh, God. You know, this only keeps getting worse. Hey, speaking of the four horsemen, ah! Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, everyone in this place loves these dumb fab fairies. Yeah, maybe it pays to be a nicer person. Typical baby. Lounging around, doing nothing as usual. Can't be bothered to do anything. Much like in society. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I, John will co-sign. In my presidential run, I will be instating a tax on babies that the babies will have to pay. Hello, Lancer. So, we got a small issue. 
And that said issue comes about when we are introduced to our cheese and crackers! Ah ha! Nice, it's worse than I thought. Yup, youngest fat fairy, hex maniac. Thank you for. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, keep talking, keep talking. We know the Dark Lord of the Fool attacked the Elven Retreat. Three powerful sisters faced him to protect the retreat. Uh, but, you know, uh, L plus ratio, they're fucking shit. And now, unfortunately, whether we like it or not, we have to help you. The biggest problem that anyone has to face when dealing with Metopia, especially when I have an overabundance of me's, much like myself, is there are so many good ones, which ones do I have to use to create my abomination? I get my own particular pick of the lot of the worst things you've seen in your life. Just look at this screen. Like, the only thing that isn't cursed about it is Scrunkly, our friendly flesh horse. I still can't believe that they put Hex Maniac in Pokemon Masters. You gave them a full 3D model. After you saw what happened to Overwatch? Are you fucking crazy? Now, me personally, I wouldn't do that. However, I mean, I have accepted the inevitability and the degeneracy of the, uh, the internet, and Megumin does in fact have a war cry. ex <laughs> A triumphant ode to one of the main reasons me and my dad used to binge Mythbusters. Explosions. <gasps> Our new friend is approaching! Oh god, surely it can't be worse than last time. Hello, Mr. White. <laughs> a quick question. Why does your hat take up a third of your body? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a good fighter and I like to train up your, your skills. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Mr. Comically Small Walter White has joined my party. And I am barely using any of the new glasses we were given <laughs> upon reaching the realm of the bay because, spoiler alert, they're all fucking garbage. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give that to Walter. Let's catch him up a little bit. Yo, home cooking. I wonder what he cooks. Yeah, so for reference, it is in fact canon that with Walter White on our team, he cooks us some delicious meth as home meals. God, I really don't like how real he is. <laughs> and naturally, uh, Hex Maniac is stowed away at <laughs> in the fucking garage where she belongs. Far away from, just, just away from anything that could possibly associate me with her. One might think my inhibitions are gone after that one specific party member that I got in the next door desert, but you know, I, I think I would have some standards. And then I don't and then you look at the screen and then I don't know how much you can think I have standards. And you know what? Maybe he's like cooking some actual like good delicious food on this journey, you know? Breaking good. Is there a secret to Walter's frying pan? Hmm. There might be. So yeah, we're not gonna get our next party member for like a fucking year and a half apparently, because God decided that you don't get to have fun in the realm of the fae. It makes sense, considering all of my food-based stats have been like plus 20 by now. Also, for reference, Walter White is cautious because, I mean, if you're a meth trader, right? I One might think that you would probably have to be at least a little bit paranoid. Like, I'm just a regular-ass college student and I'm pretty paranoid. <laughs> Anxiety isn't fun. You know, anyways, let's take our mind off from uh, my, my crushing existential crises. I played some funny games with our favorite internet funny man. I can tell who somebody is based on an outline as long as it doesn't, you know, as long as it isn't a bad outline. I swear to Christ, if you turn this into a Rorschach test and question my mental health more, I don't know how much I can take. Yeah, exactly who I wanted to see at this time of day. <laughs> yeah, let me remind you, one of the party members, uh, that I got in next door. Uh, I think I would know who spent Tenji spent. <laughs> Look at his dance. Your honor, he's just the little guy. That's, that's our cat boy. His name is Floppa. He's a pretty cool dude, I'd say. Wow, that was our next door party. The, I mean, so far, the realm of the Fae party is yet to disappoint, so the next door party kind of is just like the pieces of shit of the gang, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, horse whispering, time to die. I know this is literally completely useless, especially since these are just four goblins. However, I am going to do something really cool. Dish. Get fucking flattened, you assholes. And then we steal some food from them. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Why does he look like that? Okay, yeah, Walter White is going to restore some of his uh, HP with some cooking. Don't like him. I don't like 
Walter White. I don't like how he looked. I don't like that he's real. I, I, I don't like his existence. He's just disturbing. It's just this horrifying, uncanny valley effect. Here you go, Walter. Here's your professional cooking outfit. You know, for when you cook professional things. Like meth. Here we are at Citrus Cave. Where, whether we like it or not, we are going to save one of the fab fairies. Don't like that. Yeah, Demon Spider is right. Let's get this fucker out of my goddamn screen. I got a letter. God. Hi. Tumblr jump scare. What should I order? How about this? Yo! A thwomp is on the counter! A thwomp is working the counter! Urgh. In retrospect, they definitely could have made, like, the royal couple thwomp and womp. Because I have those memes. Walter wants a non-stick frying pan. I mean, like, naturally. If I was using my frying pan as a goddamn bludgeoning instrument, I wouldn't be too happy if I wound up with enemy blood and guts all over it. Subscribe. Can I get an amen? Because, fun fact, only a portion of my viewers are actually subscribed to me. And listen, if you guys wind up subscribing to me, that makes you an intrinsically better person. Listen, trust me, trust me. If you subscribe to my channel, you, you have to understand, it gives you like a 5% boost on all of your homework. The score you actually got on your homework could have been 5% more if you had subscribed to my channel. So, just think about that for a second. And maybe you'll eventually come to terms with uh, the fact that my content is occasionally funny. God fucking damn it, it was bound to happen eventually. It's time to explore a bit more of the citrus cave, filled to the brim with a fuckload of orange juice. You know, my favorite breakfast drink to put into my cereal. <gasps> Holy fuck. Your honor, angry bird. Oh hell yeah, no thought, no brain, drink the orange juice. Just, just drink it. What, 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 come on, what, what's so bad that could possibly happen? Oh, sick. Well, I guess we are, oh. Oh, just invisible. Thank God. I thought we were down more party members. You know, something I haven't done and something, something I feel like I really should do in my spare time is look back on the bestiary of this nightmare playthrough because I'm sure that it will only bring good memories back. All the abominations we fought and slain. It's what traveling's all about. No, it, it's not companionship, it's about murder. Well, well murder is fun with friends. Maybe the real murder victims are the friends we made along the way. The FBI guy watching this video is definitely looking at me a little strangely now. Like if I wasn't on a list for trolling too hard, then I'm definitely gonna be on the list now. You know, one thing I'm definitely excited for coming 2023 is and I don't know if you're gonna believe this, but Octopath Traveler 2. As someone who can't shut up about how good the original was, it's preposterous to even possibly think that I'm excited for the sequel. I think I already have my team picked out. Like, I have a vague idea of who I'm gonna put on my Octopath Traveler 2 team. The esteemed gaggle of misfits, who will explore the land of Celestia. I'm gonna have the funny ho hobo wizard Oswald because he can mug people. Also, the analysis skill is literally one of the biggest fucking carries in the entirety of Octopath Traveler. Because that just eliminates guesswork completely about weaknesses. The less I have to guess, the easier I can kill. I'm going to have a uh, the warrior Hikari from everyone's favorite uh, place, Japan. I feel like out of all the stories, Hikari's definitely is, at least shows pretty good promise. Also, no one likes snails. I'm absolutely going to have Particio on my main team. Ideally, he's a massive step up from the last merchant. And by that, I mean, please God, just make his story better. Tress's was just, hmm, Tress's capitalism adventures. And there was nothing else. Can Particio be like, actually dismantle capitalism, that would be sick. And my final main team member is probably gonna be thrown because, uh, for no reason. Anyways, here's the- Jesus Christ! I was, in a, I was unaware that much of, uh, of our buddy's face was, um, plastered on. That's- whoo, that's fun. Yeah, anyways, thrown is gonna be the last, at least, main party member of the group. I might, like, throw Agnia in there because she looks like her, uh, her story is going to be really funny and, like, very wholesome. Um, or it's going to be just the most fucking awful thing you've seen in your life. Like, absolute dance mom's level trauma. But yeah, Agnia definitely looks like the 
definitely is probably the Ray of Sunshine character. And a huge contrast from the last Dancer Traveler we had, who had the best story objectively, and Ow. The other three characters, Cassie, Tenemos, and, Och and Ochet, I'm not incredibly interested, like, off the bat. Like, ideally, they're going to also have some really good stories. I'm hoping there isn't a glaring weak link uh, in terms of, like, their storyline. Unlike, you know, the original Octopath Traveler, who... Oh, Christ. <laughs> who had pretty banger stories, and Tressa was also there. Tenemos is probably gonna find something out about a cult. Casty, not really sure how her story's gonna go. I mean, she's searching for her memories, one way or another, that's going to either go great or poorly. And Ochet is just like a cat girl who is a toddler. Ochet is, you know, on the hunt for epic creatures. And ideally, it'll probably be like, we're gonna hunt a creature so cool, and then she stumbles on something that is way too big for her toddler mind to possibly comprehend. Potentially, some man-made horrors beyond comprehension. Honestly, that might be dope as fuck for a hunter story if we get a hypothetical Octopath Traveler 3. Because, I'm going to assume, until the heat death of the universe, we are at least getting to A. Right? Because wouldn't it be so cool if there was like a hunter story where you showed up and it was like, Alright, I'm gonna take down this motherfucker. And then you uncover a plot with like, animal experimentation and eldritch horrors. Uh, but that's just me and an idea I randomly came up with and I totally won't be using in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Who's that clown knocking at my door? It's me, the penis goblin. Ah, oh, fuck, the penis goblin, no! Oh shit, you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Megamine and Walter White? Yeah, it's the dream team. What, oh, what the fuck what's am I the, looking at? What seems to be the issue? I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. Uh, Hyper-realistic Walter White and Megamian, the funniest, the best character from Konosuba. She is so fucking funny. She's hysterical. She just blows shit up. And, uh, anyways, look at Komi. Um... Her... They managed to get the eyes to do the thing! I know, it's wholesome, but if you'll notice, um, the face kind of goes with it. <laughs> anyways, I was talking about Octopath Traveler 2 until you came in. Uh, you, you wanna, you wanna, how, how do you, what are your thoughts about, uh, Octopath Traveler 2? I'm excited, when does it come out again? Um, same day as Dreamland Deluxe, and it's like, it's February something. Um, so for reference, on- I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, for reference, come February 20 something, um, you will not hear from me. Um, probably for a week. Yeah, I will, I will absolutely know like the fuck out of that game. And you cannot stop me. Do you, do you have like an idea of what team you wanted to use for Octopath 2? I have not watched the trailer. I just know it exists. L. What do you mean L? Shut up. You're- you mean you're Who not- the fuck ask you? You mean you're not psychotically obsessed with Octopath? Clearly cringe. <laughs> it seems this is what our first party member in the original Utopia playthrough was doing with her time uh, ever since the first playthrough ended. Definitely going a lot better than me, who is currently Angry Bird. We have a full team of heroes. Why is Walter White so small? I don't know! <laughs> Please don't come back with a 1MP banana. Fuck yeah! Fuck yes! <laughs> Kawhi Desu, bro! <laughs> you already know what fucking time it is. We got enough kick- we got enough tickets. It's time to gamble max. Never lucky, chat. But you know what it is. Come on. You already know what I'm about to say here. 90% of gamblers- 90% of gambling addicts quit right before their big win. It's better than nothing. Here you go, underleveled character. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, no, he's evil Walter White. God damn it, no, not, not two of these fuckers. Fine, you go in the back and stop being mean. It never fucking ends. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do- Ah, oh, Christ, Comey's blinking again. You know. And thus her face is disappearing. This is so cool. I love sh doing the fucking safe spot shuffle with all my shitty party members. Yo! We're, we're, get the fuck out of the way! We can get down Mr. President our party members! Or at least we can get down Mr. President, the any princess on our team specifically. Is that is one of her abilities. Jesus. No. Ow. There goes half the fucking team apparently. 
Good lord. Why do, these, why do these hobgoblins have to do so much damage? If you A, weren't caught up in all the Jonal Coastline lore, and B, didn't put it together right now, uh, since I started playing uh, Drawn to Life, um, that now means that I am finally, after all these months, finished with my random arbitrary task that I decided to put upon myself for... I mean, I just decided to do it because I thought it'd be fun. Uh, I played all the generations of Pokemon. Oh uh, yes, I almost forgot I did this. Yeah, I might- oh god! I might need to examine the Pokedex uh, by the time Scarlet and Violet comes out in order, you know, to properly assemble a good enough team for my- for my impossible standards. At this point, my Pokemon team for Scarlet and Violet is looking somewhat scrimlopilled. We have the man, Fue Coco. We have Grafiai, Grevar, Cloth, Paldean Wooper, and Wiglet. And that's my fucking team so far. So it's already looking pretty good. I'll probably change up shit once the game comes out and or the leaks are proven accurate. But for now, the team is just entirely made up of scrumplies. Honestly, that's just why I'm waiting for Pokemon to drop the fucking evolutions already. Who knows? By the time this video uploads, the trailers might be out for the evolutions already. I don't know. I'm trying to see what Fue Coco turns into, my little guy. More importantly, I'm trying to see what Abomination Wiglet could possibly become. Unfortunately, our good friend LeChonk had to fall to the wayside on my team because as much as his name is LeChonk and he's adorable, I have many other scrimblows that need, <laughs> need to be put on my team. Well, this is a creature. I wonder what was going on in Kami, ha ha! <laughs> Ah uh, yes, we have the Hex Maniac, Komi, whose face blinks out of existence, and Senator fucking Armstrong, the ultimate trio of the most fabulous fuckers on the planet. Good lord. Yo, pirate gear. This is this is like this is like this is this is like my favorite one you know, it's kinda like when the one piece you know how the one piece is the the one piece Alright, look at my awful fucking look at this town, right? I know, I see, I see Saki there. I see one of the problems. Here's a few others. I see, I, I do remember Gutex. Um, here's a third problem. I am... That's just a realistic baby. <laughs> and Lanker. Alright. I just needed to show you the town. I feel like your, your, your day wasn't complete without it. Anyways. No, it really, really was. Anyways, look, look at the fat fairies. Ooh. Ah. Good lord. <laughs> They're fucking... Dude, breaking news, Lo local white boy is busting it down sexual style. I think he might be goaded with the sauce. Dude, I would fast forward through this if I could. Honest to God, I like this about as much as you do. Using their combined dance dance revolution, the gate opens, and just what the doctor ordered. Hey, what's up? Fuck. Shouldn't have opened the door. I shouldn't have opened the door. No. I gotta... <laughs> awesome, hey. Uh, knock, 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 knock. Open up the door, it's real. Knock, knock. knock. Who's there? Not your face. Shit. Well, uh, that's gonna be a fucking problem for, uh, next episode. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do the same joke to all your friends. Shit, it's gonna be so funny the third time, too. Poor sweet hex or maniac. Oh, noe. I have to save our friends. As well as our gaggle of misfortunate fairies who have had their faces ripped off from them. Today is a new day in Metopia recording. I cannot deny I am a little tired, but I can blame it on uh, the capitalist jet lag known as uh, daylight savings time. Totally not because I stayed up till uh, four in the fucking morning uh, making maps for my D&D campaign. Anyways, um, time for an all-out attack. Yeah, I did some off-screen grinding, and now we can miss turkeys. Oh, sweet Christ. All the emotes are floating in the air. The tomato bros. Hell yeah, dude. Anyways, time to show what Whirlwind Blade is actually good for. Single target. Just fucking kills people. Now the tomato bros have a funny attack where they can spit out tomato juice, and Megamine does not like tomatoes. That's rough. Oh, but who else? And I love tomatoes, fuck yeah. I'm not entirely sure if that is just completely random based on the meat you get, or if it, like, depends on if you like the tomato 
uh, dishes. I don't know. It's kind of funny how you can just not get hit by an attack on account of, eh, I like the food. New skill. Oh, I can backflip. Hold up. You? Megumin does not avoid the uh, tomatoes trying to roll her over, but I do, and that's all that matters. I'm a narcissist. So during my recording session yesterday, I requested the reveal of like cool new uh, evolutions for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We did not get that. And I know it's only been one day, but we had a trailer that revealed my favorite new Pokemon, Reddit. Oh hell yeah, this is perfect for Walter White. I was fully expecting this guy to come back with one HP banana. I am pleasantly surprised. Thank you, Mr. White. Very cool of you. I've gotten so used to my fucking party from next door that I genuinely don't expect any of my me's to do anything I want. <laughs> there he is. The emote to end all emotes. He can now die happy. He was saved by Lady Armstrong. Ah, yes. And now, <laughs> the Soyjack comes floating down from on high. And now we have to save his uh, favorite fab fairy, the Hex Maniac. And, you know, judging by his face, that makes sense. I don't even feel like addressing this one. Collecting faces for the third time in this entire fucking quest. Yeah, we have been chasing the Dark Lord for what feels like years. Somehow we are experienced, yes. I am experienced, at least. I can't say the same about the rest of my team, as they are in, like, Oklahoma at the moment. Probably one of the most comforting things about this point of the game is that I don't really have to have any more party members. I mean, it's really only post-game where your party kind of opens up and you can recruit characters from the Traveler's Hub. But for the better or for worse, we are stuck with the party as it is right now. And part of me feels like it's for the worse. Oh god, Walter White is about to get high off his own supply. Well, it is obviously orange juice. No, I think, I think it's obvious. And yep, yep, there he goes. He's drinking all the liquid and he's a fucking snail. I mean, it says he got turned into a monster, but like, Jesus Christ, you know? I feel like hyper-realistic Walter White in Metopia is already some level of monster. Oh, speaking of monsters, Hello, numbers. <laughs> we're here to beat you to death. Oh god, is this the metamorphosis they were talking about? Holy fuck, wait. Oh, I didn't even intend that. I, I actually might be a genius. Ow! What the fuck? You know, you try to have fun for maybe two minutes, and motherfuckers keep attacking you. Megamine, light this bitch on fire. You know, Royal Wave is actually considered like an air attack. Like in its description, it tosses a gust of wind at an enemy. And the wizard already has sort of fire and lightning elements. So you know, if you could control your other party members, there might be more strategy involved with like enemy weaknesses, but <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it might defeat the purpose if I could control these fucking abominations. Maybe in a Metopia 2. Ideally we get a Metopia. I'm praying for a Metopia 2, honestly. I would let's play that shit in a heartbeat. I fucking love these games. Alice, what are your thoughts on snails? We have a wide variety of opinions on the table so far. You know, as God intended, a humid forest, just clean air. Let's take some deep breaths. In, yeah, no, this is very out of character for me. I, well, this is out of character for me beyond an hour mark. My family and friends know this about me. I have a timer when it comes to hikes. If we go beyond that arbitrary timer I set for myself, uh, then I say, fuck it, we're lost, and I just stop having fun altogether. Ideally, if I go on hikes with friends, I can actually blab about my most recent fixation, so I won't get bored as easily. No, Lancer! <laughs> He's a slime! Oh no! Lan I don't like the color of the slime. You, you have to understand that the internet has ruined me. <gasps> oh my god, hold on, the horns. He's restoring my MP! Yeah, my good friend Scrunkly the Flesh Horse! Time to fucking rock. Whirlwind Blades time. Brrrr. Again? Nice. This is completely optimized. Oh my god, another fucking cheek rub. This is insane. We can't keep getting this lucky. I mean, at, at what point? Oh, oh, and the unusually focused? Hold on, we're about to go sicko mode on this motherfucker. Oh, die. Well, he's not gonna bite the dirt for a little bit, considering we are just healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Healing Melody. Now then, let's take it out. We're not taking it out, are we? Well, 
Lucky me. Yo, the best item in the game. I, I only Walter White could be that small. Why is he that small? Why is he real? And this is our good buddy, Be Not Afraid, our very fun angel friend. He's here to send the enemies to God, or at least he would be. Uh, but then he got kidnapped and taken to, to Gary, Indiana by the Dark Lord. Here we are in Lotus Lake. This serene looking place is ideally where we find the Hex Maniac's face. Oh, okay. Well, yep. Goodbye. That's, um, an issue. This lovely, lovely creature is a fiend. Uh, you already saw his gimmick. Uh, he can kind of just look at you and decide to kill you. Usually finding these guys is a massive fucking jump scare, because it just basically means that either all of your shield sprinkles are going to disappear, or one of your party members, potentially more, is gone. Anyways, after dealing with that scary encounter, we get to deal with the funny nose whirlwind. I guess I could give it to Walter. I mean, he's kind of a tank, actually. I guess it is the chef's job to bake hearty meals for the team. And I honestly kind of had it in my head that the chef might have been a tank class, but I don't know, I guess I'm pleasantly surprised. There is also a class called tank, but why would you? <laughs> the answer is because the tank is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. You just turn into a shit-eating automobile with a gun on your head. Your weapons are, are the shells that you fire out of, your, your, of, of the cannon on your forehead. All of your attacks at the tank, in one way or another, damage the friendship you have with your other teammates. And your speed is zero. No matter how many times you level up, it will not increase. Oh my god, oh my god, come on, come on. This is the defining moment of my career. Yes! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Moai Dagger of Tain! I hope you don't get tired of seeing it, because I will be using it for the foreseeable future. Every time I think I'm safe, he shows up again. The real villain of this playthrough, the Torquies. Because God fucking hates me, uh, there's actually multiple variants of those bastards. There's like a Torpy and a Torgle. And all of the variants suck just as much. Oh, a fucking course. A fucking course. I literally had a, I had a 50 goddamn percent chance of getting three outing tickets, and yeah, that makes sense. Seems this game has other ways of fucking me over. Here we go. At the edge of Lotus Lake, this is where we should find what we're looking for. Make it stop? Yeah, I fucking wish, dude. Oh, good lord. The big motherfucker is back. Alright, no, no. No frog. I'm not afraid of no crazy frog. So get your ass out of my fucking house. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Blap. Oh, ow! Oh, oh and then he... Bleh, he's gonna burp all over us. That, that could have, you know, could be a little <laughs> less than optimal, one might say. Um, one might also say it's fucking disgusting, so I'm going to put this fucker out of its misery. I need to pop his stomach like a fucking balloon. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it in time. Something tells me. Oh, oh, hold on, he's holding up. All right, Armstrong is gonna heal us. Very cool of you. Get him before he unleashes the breath. I, I highly doubt we're gonna beat him before that happens, but like, at least we can try. Yup, there it is. We're all, yep, there goes Megmin. Well, I guess time to heal up everybody. You know, I definitely could have healed up everyone beforehand, but where's the fun in that? I played Miitopia with Danger Mario Strats in mind, and there really isn't anything to gain from doing that, but I kind of just forget to heal sometimes. Get him! Fuck yeah! And that's that. Oh Christ, it's him! The Eye. Hello, Mr. Eye. Well, what, what do you think? Yeah, the aftermath of the burp. Scrumply is unfazed. Fine. I, I guess I'll support my local uh, small business created by an eldritch nightmare. I could probably use a protractor as a bladed weapon. I mean, I can't be the only guy who, like, when they were young, they used, like, coat hangers as a fucking, or, like, a bow. I thought I was so cool. I could pretend to shoot arrows, just like the objectively most useless Avenger out of the original six. Yes, I am referencing Hawkeye, and no, my opinion on the matter will not change. I'm sorry to all you Hawkeye fans out there, but that man is just some dude who took an archery class once. I could fucking do that. I can take an archery class once, does that mean I'm an Avenger? Anyways, the day is saved thanks to me, yet again, because I'm the only motherfucker who does anything around these parts in Metopia. And whether we like it or not, 
you are saved as well. And that is everyone who needed to be rescued. Bravo, thank you very much. I think it's about time we find the way to the Dark Lord's lair in the volcano. And the only way to do that, that's right, motherfuckers, it's time for another dance number. This was needed and required, but you know what? Honestly, I'm just down to chill here for Metopia's various antics. And look at me fucking go, I am busting it down. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm goaded with the fucking saws. Look at this kick line of characters. This is just, oh man. There is so much wrong with everything in this image. We're gonna open a motherfucking can of whoop ass on that Dark Lord. Here we fucking go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, I like this piece.